Yeah, because we're in the touristy area of Berlin now. Yes, it is, and also like they're yeah, super modern buildings mostly. There's two, two windows open exactly. Oh, yeah. The, the last time we showed an episode, you were doing what I usually do, which is going to the street, but you were using a camera that was not familiar to you. But there's like more more in your element, right? So, what, 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 how would you define the kind of pictures you take? Is it like trespassing photography? <laughs> so, yes, it's a lot of trespassing. So, whenever there's a door open, I'll slip into it and see what we can find but mostly I would say it's architecture and it's symmetry so like clear like straight lines lots of details and like pictures that leave you room to discover more when you look closer at them mm. but especially like these clear shapes central uh, composition so very straightforward stuff I think um, and if there's a few catchy colors then that's even better What is that? So it's Paradox Paradise, the German or Berlin graffiti artist, used to be with the crew Berlin Kids and now he's doing his own thing. And he's very famous for his style of graffiti, which is vertical uh, graffiti with very, very nicely shaped um, signs and letters. You can see it in the, in the top there. So he's always uh, using red and uh, blue color and always interchanging the, between the letters. And so he's basically yeah, breaking into the buildings, getting to the rooftops and then using rope to climb down and drawing while he's doing that. Um, and also usually doing pretty cool drone uh, footage while doing that. So it's, it's my hero a little bit for like the Berlin uh, urban lifestyle and especially for getting into places where you shouldn't be because that's always what I'm trying as well. <laughs> Yeah, so this picture is actually this place. Yes. With a super wide angle. <laughs> yeah, it's a super wide angle. Facing to the, to the top. I was lying down here. And it was yeah, a matter of seconds actually, or of, of millimeters to like, actually fit it in the frame. Because even with the wide angle on the mobile, I can hardly, hardly do it. Right here. 
I mean, yes, I mean, it was probably like three, four floors down, but it was actually just. Wow. I like the fact that you go to the same places many times and find different pictures. Yes, I mean, in these places, it's always... Also, sometimes I just love sitting in the yard for like a half hour. A few pictures that are obvious that you take the first day you come here, but the second time you know, okay, I'll, I took the obvious one, which what what's left. Uh, mm. So it's, I think it's just good exercise also to come up with new stuff. It looks like two pictures. Yeah. Okay, so it, that is... Even looking through the viewfinder, I didn't think it would come out this good. So this is nice. Yeah, that's one thing that always surprised me about you. Like, you go and take pictures and you just insist on a subject or one thing, like you insist on it. Like I usually take one picture or two pictures and I'm done. Like I, I, I move on because I take pictures of people and it's yeah, usually like a gesture. Fleeting, fleeting moment, yeah. Yeah, I mean obviously you can't come back to it also. Huh? If you have yeah. like one person sitting there, then you have your picture, that the picture's already ready. Huh? You walk past and you already know, okay, this yeah. is the subject, one picture. Is yeah, good. it's gone. I don't know, it's... I mean, the, the thing is with these buildings, obviously, for, for most people that walk past here, if they come into the yard, they realize, oh, it's a special building, it's a special architecture, it's interesting. So they will take, take a few shots that are yeah, obvious, but then to really stand out and to have a picture that kind of persists and that also is quite of special in like five years, I think you really need to take it all in. And here it's, I mean, wherever I look, I see other shapes and you wonder like, what can I do with this? Mm. It's, yeah, but this is also like a unique case. But there are other buildings where I feel like there is not that much to it, so you can take a few, but then it's got done. But this one, there's a reason why this is my favorite building. So um, I just keep coming back. Actually, if you have direct sun on the building, it always almost looks pale and white mm. on the pictures. Yeah. So I'm, I rather come back when there's shadow in the inner yard because then the colors pop more which is kind of counterintuitive because usually you want, if you want popping colors, you want to come out during yeah. the sunlight. But with this color, it's different. So it is also a learning process of like, I, I knew kind of what I wanted to do and knew, okay, this weather is not going to work out. So I come back when I know the weather is more fitting, purpose. And so, and if you see the quality increase, then you know, okay, this is, I'm on, on a good way here. It's always, there's always waiting or in this case, luck involved to get into the buildings and once you're in then it's like if you just take one picture then it's kind of wasted so you gotta because next time could be that you're not coming in anymore there, then there's probably some other security guard they take they keeping people away and then i never get into it again so i want to mm. use the opportunity to at least have a good shot yeah but i really love this one actually this is probably the favorite of the day Why do you do it? Um, I mean, first of all, I think I need um, a reason to go out. 
I need a reason to do these things. So because like getting into places, getting into uh, buildings that I'm not supposed to be in is a thrill, but I need a purpose. I need something to memorize the experience and the photography is doing just that. And also the, the photography is giving me somewhat of an internal authorization. So I have the permission to do it because I feel like I'm doing it for like some some good. There's something created and it's not just for the purpose of breaking it. And um, also I feel like I have like a natural uh, sense of curiosity. I, I'm very curious to see like what's behind the facades and what's behind like places where people usually don't uh, look into and I also want to show others like perspectives of the city that they've probably lived in their whole life but they've never seen these perspectives, they've never seen these places because there's so many places that are just hidden from the public view and I feel like uh, I have a opportunity to show other people what I'm seeing and uh, I, I feel like there's some value in that. Well, I mean, I'm doing it for the beating heart. So back in the day, Eduardo and I were doing a lot of urban exploration stuff jumping fences, breaking into old factories, and that was good to get the heart beating, but now that Berlin has been gentrified, there's not so much abandoned spaces anymore, so now you have to go into the residential space, the ones where you're not supposed to be. So this is what we're doing this for. And now look at this, this is what we're doing this for. Okay, man. So, the stage is yours. Can you like where, where can where can people find you? Yes, you can find me on Instagram, Evil Bag Photo. Uh, that's probably the best place to go. Write me a DM if you like it, uh, or like send a comment. I'm always appreciative of that. And uh, yeah, awesome. That's about it. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you. <laughs>